Hey YouTube, how you doing? VT Maestro here. Hope all is well. Well, today I'm out working on the solar panels. I have my ground array here that I'm going to raise up the angle this way so that uh, it's a better angle for the winter sun because as we can see, the sun is lower in the sky as winter approaches and uh, I just need to raise the panels up. So I built this array over two summers. I built this first part right here, this array with five panels. And then last summer I did uh, the following array. And uh, this is a net meter array, therefore it, uh, we get credits and um, a kickback from the power company for selling power back to the local power company, which is Green Mountain Power. So I built this array to offset the energy from our electric car, which is over there which is a Nissan LEAF. And uh, this array provides enough electricity and power to power that car and also to uh, offset other appliances and, and parts of our overall energy use for our home. Re most recently, this past summer, I put in a hot water heat pump and I've had plenty of electricity and plenty of solar credits, monetary credits from the energy company to uh, power and to pay for all of my driving needs as well as hot water in the house. Also in the house we have 17 panels up there which is also net metered and uh, that array is more west facing and it's really great in summer um, especially with the western sun. This array is south facing and when you build a solar array you, you sort of want to definitely go south facing because you're gonna have sun all the time even in the winter time you're gonna get the low sun the issue with a west-facing array in the wintertime is that the sun's so low that it doesn't get quite all the sun that it needs. And having a roof array, you can get um, snow and ice built up there. I've gone like the whole month of January with not making any power on the roof, but with a ground melt array, um, I can maintain it, I can brush off the panels and uh, keep it going. So these 10 panels right here, they're 270 watt panels they're all net metered and I built them with M phase micro inverters go around the back here so each panel has a, a micro inverter right here an M phase setup whereas the system up there is a central inverter all those panels run in serial they all connect to each other and they go down to a central inverter and uh, that's what how the power comes into the house, DC to AC. These are all converted at uh, the panel. Each panel converts from DC to AC power. So it's a pretty simple setup. Um, had some help, my father-in-law, Lou. He uh, helped me put the uh, sonotubes tubes in. And uh, that was much appreciated. So to do this, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I just loosened the bolt here. And these will raise up. There's also a series of bolts, just one every four feet or so right here that I loosen there. And then I can just lift up the angle, I'll lift up the whole ray on one of the edges first and just work my way over. And then um, just keep going five, six inches at a time because they're heavy all together. Lock them in and keep doing that over and over until I get up to the angle I want. Right now, the panels, I think, are at about 27 degrees, which is fine. I could leave it like this all year, but I can get them up to about 40 degrees, which is even better for the winter sun. So here's the last shot right now at this angle. The panels up to the right angle is uh, done by using my phone and basically setting the phone on the panel here and using an app to find out the angle. Okay, I'll show you the uh, app I use. Uh, angle Checker is part of uh, Unirack. They have a, oh, what they call it, two belt uh, series of apps that are free. And as you angle it, it shows you the angles and so forth. And I just take the phone and move it to each panel and make sure I have the right angle and everything's all set to go. So thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, you checking out this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch you next time in the next video. Take care.